You don't always want to style all elements of the same type in exactly the same way, though. For instance, if your document is an article with a sidebar, you might want to apply a different style to paragraph elements in the article versus in the sidebar. One way you can do this is by putting a special attribute on the HTML tags, the class attribute. In computer languages, class is a really common word for a group of things with the same characteristics. As you go on in computing, you'll see lots of other examples of classes in different languages. But for now, here, a class in HTML is just a special attribute that we can use to say that, for instance, some paragraphs need to have different style than other paragraphs. So how do you create a class? All you have to do is make up a name for that class and start using it. You add the class attribute to some HTML elements and create a CSS rule set with the same name. And the way you apply a CSS rule set to a class is to write a selector that starts with a dot. Classes are what you should use when there can be several elements on the page that you want to apply a rule to. If you know there will be only one element to apply it to, you can make this clearer by using the ID attribute instead of class. The difference between ID and class is that ID is meant to be unique. There can only be one element with a particular ID on the page. In contrast, there can be any number of elements with the same class. ID values come from the same place that class values do. You just make them up. But to apply a style to elements by ID, instead of a dot in the selector, you put a hash mark, or a number sign, or one of these things anyway. 